Yo ninjas and Kayo, welcome to the Tombstone Windmill Tutorial. Before trying this move, make sure you can do a very good windmill and a very good munch meal or baby windmill. If you want me to help you with your power move progress, check out my Patreon link in the description. You will also find exclusive tutorials. And if you want, check out my merch, also link in the description. Very important thing for the Tombstone Windmill. Your head should be always staying on the floor, all the time. The front of your head, but also the side, the back and the other side. Many people do the windmill by lifting up their head from the floor. So when they are on their back here, their head is like this, lifted up. Instead, your head should be always leaning and rolling like this on the floor. Should not lift up like this. If during the windmill and the munch mill your head will be always on the floor, this move will be easier. Instead, if you cannot do that, you can still learn this move, but it's gonna be a little bit harder. First step or first exercise to learn this move. You should start from a turtle freeze or from a side freeze, as you prefer, and go to a backspin, but with your legs straight and closed, and with your head always on the floor. So just try this. From here, push and go like this. And as you can see, my head is on the floor. Try this exercise until it feels very natural and comfortable. Second step or second exercise. Do the same thing, but this time try to lift yourself up from this position. Like this. In this way, you will learn how to bounce your legs while in this position. So doing that a little bit. So when I do Tombstone Windmills, I do two movements with my legs, the swing and the bounce. I try to swing my legs like this, but I also try to bounce them like this. When I'm here, I'm swinging my legs like this, so I'm kicking my legs in this way, but when I'm on the back, I'm doing this, but I also keep swinging my legs in this direction. So the movement is kind of like this. You can also just try this push or this movement just to understand how it works. So from here, swing and bounce. Try this few times until you understand how the legs movement works. Third step, after the push, try to go back to the turtle freeze or side freeze. So basically you kick, you close your legs, you bounce them and then you can open them again. Step four, now I'm gonna wear a beanie so I don't ring my hair. This time you're gonna use the head coin drop. If you don't know how to do a head coin drop, you can check out the tutorial and I'll leave the link in the description. So you wanna do a head coin drop, but every time you are on the back, you wanna close your legs in the tombstone windmill position. You can start from a side freeze, or if you want, you can start from your head like this. And this time you're not gonna use your hands, so you're gonna push like this with your arms. The same like a tombstone windmill. For a tombstone windmill, your arms can be like in a circle, kind of like this, and push. Or if you want, you can try to keep them a little bit more straight. But also in this way you should push your arms. Some people used to close their arms more, however, if you put them like this, or like this, or like this, the concept is always the same, you have to push with your arms, and with your shoulders, and the upper part of your torso, like this, you should push. The push is exactly the same like a munch meal, baby wee meal, or like a head coin drop. So if you can do these moves, it's gonna be way easier. So now, last step before attempting the real Thompson windmill is practicing the Thompson windmill with your hands on the floor. If you can do a very good windmill, probably you don't use the side freeze or the turtle freeze anymore, but you use your arms kind of like in this position, right? This time you should use the arms in the same way. You can even start from a headstand if you want. You can go to a Thompson position like this, push with your legs in this way and try to go to a backspin for it like this. And from the back, try to get up again to a head spin, headstand position, so to your head, actually. You close your legs, you swing them like this, you go to your back, 
and you lift yourself up. Then, when you feel ready, try to get back to the headstand without touching with your legs on the floor. Try to do several rounds of this move until it feels natural. When you learn this last step, so doing the Thompson windmill by using your hands, you can try finally one round of Thompson windmill without the hand. So a real Thompson windmill basically. You can start from here, from the regular power move start, but when you are on your back, immediately close your legs very fast. If you don't close your legs fast, it's gonna be harder to close them gradually. So try only this first, like this. Then, if your legs are in the correct position, try your first round. You should be able to do it at this point. If you know all the basics, all of these exercises, one round, it's gonna be guaranteed. So just try one round and maybe connect it to your normal windmill or to flares or to other power moves until this first round becomes very, very clean. When your first round becomes very clean, you can do two rounds and you can add two rounds into combos like two rounds of Thompson windmills, two windmills or two flares and then go ahead with three rounds and more and more. So you should start only with one round and then connect it to other moves, like this. So before attempting more rounds, make sure you can do one round into combos multiple times, then try with two rounds and so on, and then you will finally learn spontaneously like how to do multiple rounds. If you need more help for your power moves, or if you want to see exclusive content and tutorials, or if you just want to support me, you can check out my Patreon link in the description, and also check out my merch, also link in the description. See you next week with a new tutorial. Yo Ninja!